channel most probably you have figured out that today we're doing Vietnam which is if not my top one of the three top destinations that I have visited so far before we begin please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video so without further ado let's get started I took this trip back in 2017 and it was a 10 day long trip from the north to the south of Vietnam the first stop was Hanoi Day one in Hanoi was pretty short as we arrived in the afternoon so first thing we did was to go to Cafe Tiang which was actually recommended to us by locals in order to try the famous egg coffee. Egg coffee is a local delicacy in Hanoi and it's made out of egg yolks, condensed milk, sugar and coffee robusta and I know egg and coffee sounds a little bit weird so I was actually very eager to try it but trust me it's very very tasty and I would put it at the top of my list of things to try in Hanoi. We next visited the Hanoi Old Quarter which is probably the main touristic attraction in Hanoi because it has this very characteristic style. The streets are narrow and are filled with vendors side by side selling everything from souvenirs to local products and also it has a very distinct traffic. It is actually like a zombie apocalypse of scooters, bicycles and motorbikes and it is indeed an experience to face the traffic in the local style. Day 2 in Hanoi started at the Hoan Kiem Lake, which attracts many tourists because it's in the heart of Hanoi and it also has the beautiful Ngok Song Temple. We then visited the Kong Cafe. Vietnam is in general very famous for its coffee and Kong Cafe is one of the most famous cafes in Hanoi. It is very unique primarily due to its style. It is painted with their army green and it's also filled with war era paraphernalia, propaganda posters, wartime photos and antiques. Also Kong Cafe serves one of the best coconut coffees in Hanoi. One of the things that I would highly recommend doing in Hanoi is to try street food and we did try loads of it and different things that were super yummy that I honestly don't even know what they were with the exception of one particular case. It was a small restaurant at the basement of a house which was recommended in Lonely Planet otherwise we wouldn't have gone and they were making rice crepes which were filled with mushrooms and pork served with chili sauce and it was super yummy. Our next stop was the train street. In Hanoi, the train crosses through the city and in a particular point it crosses between houses that are sandwiched on the side of the rails. When we went, uh, we couldn't see the train, but we walked on the rails and we took lots of pictures. And it was time for fun. 
Pho is a very famous Vietnamese dish that is beef soup with noodles. We next visited Lota Tower, which is a little bit outside central Hanoi, but it offers great views of the city. Our day ended at Thang Long Theater, where we watched the Water Puppet Show. Water Puppet Show is very traditional in Hanoi, and it symbolizes the rice harvest. On the third day of our trip, we visited Halong Bay. Halong Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Center and it's known for its emerald waters with many limestone rock mountains topped with rainforests. So we are in Halong Bay, in the amazing cave, that's the name if you translate it from Vietnamese. And it's full of stalagmites and the other name that I don't know in English. And <laughs> it's me, Susanna, Manos, and me, and Dorin. Say hi to Dorin hi. people. <laughs> it looks like it's fake, but it's not actually. It's real. Like if you... I think it's the light that it shows it like this, but it's quite impressive, I would say. Cool. It's really big. Yeah, it's big. It's the biggest cave in Halong Bay. This is what our tour guide told us. We next went canoeing to the hidden lagoon formed by these gigantic stones. To enter the lagoon, we had to wait for the low tide as the entrance is submerged during high tide. Next, we climbed a few hundred steps up the T Top Island. It was totally worth it though because the views from there are spectacular. Day 4 in Hanoi started in the heart of the old quarter at the Bag Ma Temple. This is said to be the oldest temple in the city. We next visited the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. Ho Chi Minh was the first president of North Vietnam before the war. His body is preserved in a mausoleum, but unfortunately we couldn't see it as it was closed the day that we went. Our final stop in Hanoi was the Temple of Literature. It was built to honor Confucius and shortly after it became Vietnam's first imperial academy.